Today we're going to be talking about a simple and affordable shower pressure system that you can put together for your camping kit or your overlanding rig. Stay tuned. Hey everybody and welcome back. Today on another family camping trip and once again we're at a campground. Now I mentioned this in the last video, we're at the time of year where we're doing some family camping. So right now we're out with my wife and my in-laws and we're just at a campground in Big Bear, California. Uh, and so I'm not really putting together uh, one of our trip films like I normally do just because there's not much adventure going on. We're just kicking it with the family. But I did think that this was a great weekend to finally put together a video on the shower system I've been talking to you guys about for some time. Now this weekend has been a scorcher. It's been like 95 plus every single day. And so we've been getting some use out of the shower system uh, at the end of the day to kind of wash off and cool down from the day's heat. So I will just get straight into it. Um, this is the entire shower system setup right here. So what I've got is the uh, pressurized shower system unit right here. Now this is made by JTEC. I ordered this off of Amazon and something that I'm gonna try to do for you guys is put together a really good um, video description that's got links to all the stuff that I used as well as like sizing and information like that just because I've made some changes to the system to make it work the way I want to. Now you guys heard me talk about these scepter water tanks before. I typically have two of these and I actually do have two of these um, right now. So I've just found out that 10 gallons or five gallons each is a great amount of water to have on an off the grid camping trip. And so uh, like I said, let's get into the shower system. So this thing is pretty cool. It is USB rechargeable and um, the way I uh, actually, the reason why I'm doing it right now is I have been charging it in my truck right here. So um, I can run it straight off the truck's power, but normally what I like to do is get it a good charge and it will get me probably two to three showers or maybe even four showers off of an individual charge. So. Uh, USB connection just plugs in right there comes with that cable and you're good to go for power now This is right here the intake uh, valve and that connects to this gray tube now this gray tube with this orange connector is exactly how this thing um, came so What's cool about this thing is it's got a little filter on there to make sure that you don't suck up any like large debris into the water pump to um, you know clog it up or whatnot. So that works out well. And I found out that this gray tubing works just fine for the intake. However, the tubing that this thing came with for the actual nozzle was the same gray tubing and it's not very flexible um, and bendable and it wasn't very long. So I actually went to Home Depot and just picked this up myself. Like I said, I'll link the details in the description for you. Um, this tubing and that plugs straight into uh, the outtake of the water pump. So that goes up to the nozzle. Okay, so I did have to add this fitting to make the uh, nozzle that I have added work. Now I probably didn't mention this yet, but this came with an, this did come with a nozzle. The JTEC does come with a nozzle, but the problem is it doesn't have any kind of uh, water control on it. And so once you turn that power on, which is the power buttons right here, um, it just goes. And so, yes, you can turn the power button off to stop it, but I've realized that you lose a lot of precious water in the meantime. And so it's much easier to just be able to press this only when you need it, because obviously when you're off the grid, water is a commodity that is not easily accessible and you want to conserve as much as possible. And so when it comes to my water system, everything that I have is designed to use as little water as possible and only what I need. And so uh, that fitting and the nozzle, I don't exactly remember how much that cost. I know the nozzle was only $5 at Home Depot. Uh, the fitting, if I can find that for you, you guys, I will link that in the description. Obviously, um, you can see how this kind of fits on the tubing just perfectly. So obviously with the sizing of the tubing, um, you know, you'll be able to 
if you go to Home Depot yourself, order it off to Amazon, you know, I'll have that information for you. So, um, what's really cool about this, uh, system it's got two settings i find that the first setting um works just fine for me so you hit it once to turn it on um so you can hear it running right now and then you hit it again to kind of have like a slower setting which i really never use and then again to turn off now you could turn this on once and then obviously just manage the water with the nozzle but I like to conserve the battery as much as possible. And so I typically turn that off. Like I'll rinse, turn that off, um, you know, wash, and then turn it on to rinse again. And so obviously I'm saving power and I'm saving water and that works great. Now I'm going to real quick put this together for you guys and attach it to the scepter tank so you guys can see what it looks like when I use it. Okay. So the first thing I do is drop the intake nozzle inside the scepter tank and I push that little filter thing to the bottom and then I take the hose, put it out of the cap there and then I just kind of like lightly tighten that. And then I'm going to attach that to the nozzle here or to the water tank here, sorry. All right, now I'm gonna take the nozzle, attach it to the fitting. To the outtake section on this guy. And then I just hook it up there. And so as you guys can see, it's super quick to assemble, um, very small footprint. And that's what I really like. I really like the practicality of this um, system. Now, I don't always use a shower setup on my camping trips, but if it's a really hot weekend or something like that, or if I just want a shower when I'm out there, this is nice. It doesn't take a lot of space in my storage system. And these are water tanks that I'm gonna have with me anyways. And so I use these water tanks for hand washing, um, washing dishes and all that kind of stuff anyways. And so it just kind of works with the system that I already had. Uh, so I'll, I'll probably link those water tanks uh, for you guys as well, but obviously it's not necessary. Now, what about a hot shower? Yes, it can do that too, but it's a little bit more complicated. Now I don't have it with me because it's a really hot weekend. I knew it was going to be a really hot weekend and a hot shower is just not necessary. But what I do have uh, and I'll link this for you guys as well, is a two gallon steel pot. And so if I'm definitely gonna want, it, maybe it's like winter time or something like that, and I'm going to want a hot shower, that steel pot, I fill up with two gallons of water and I throw it on my camping stove. And with my Camp Chef Everest stove, it takes about two and a half minutes to have a hot uh, tank of water. And then instead of dropping that line into the scepter tank like I do here, I drop it into that pot and I'm good to go. Now that pot also has a handle. I ordered that thing off Amazon. It also has a handle. And so I can carry that with me. I can carry it into the shower, whatnot. I normally don't bring it because if it's coming down to me actually needing to take a shower out here, I don't mind a cold shower. I'm just trying to get the job done real quick. So, you know, to each their own. Um, on a hot weekend like this, these water tanks, if I leave them in the sun, actually get plenty warm enough that it's like a nice warm shower in the evening. And so that works just fine. Now, you can see I've got it on the tailgate right now. That's not ever how I use it. Normally, if you guys have seen my videos before, I have my water tank right here. And so, you know, I usually can just hang the nozzle from right here, whatnot. Granted, Right now we're at a campground and so we've got a little privacy shelter which I can go show you guys in a second. Okay, so what I got here is a Cabela's privacy shelter. Now this thing is big, it's bulky. It's actually really, really easy to set up and I don't mind it at all, but it takes up a lot of room in the truck. I would probably not recommend this for most people. Now, if you're somebody who's going to set up camp, stay there for a while, and that's just how you're gonna do it, then something like this could be great for you. It's big, it's huge, it's comfortable. But most people, if you really, really want a privacy shelter, you can probably get like one of those $60, $70 pop-up shelters 
that store nice and compact um, and are easy to set up. So that's probably what I'd recommend for most people. I got this because I've probably mentioned this a couple times. Um, my wife isn't into this uh, as much as I am and I was really trying to impress her with the privacy shelter and an outdoor toilet and all that kind of stuff. It didn't work too well. Um, she doesn't mind this stuff at all, but she probably, at the end of the day, she probably wouldn't have cared if I just went the more simpler route. And so we have this, so we have it. But if I were to do it again, I'd probably do it a little bit different. So the, it does come with a rainfly and a zipper. All right, let's go in here. It's wet on the ground right now because we have used it, but it's got a little area to store toiletries whatnot it's got some air vents up top which are nice on a hot weekend like this but real simple setup for you there so that is kind of everything for the privacy shelter now i was talking about the scepter water tanks so i'm just going to show you um what we use for hand washing during dishes it's another one of these tanks and something that I really like about the scepter water tanks is the caps are interchangeable. Now I kind of jimmy rigged this nozzle on here so that we could have water that turns on and turns off. Like I had said before, everything that I want to do water related uh, is to conserve as much water as possible. And so that gives me a lot of control of the flow of water and it tends to last for a while. So. I think that kind of covers it for the water system. I know this was a really short video, but I've talked about this kind of stuff quite a bit. And so I wanted to finally put this video out there for you guys who have been wondering about the shower system. Now this, something, this is something that was very affordable for me. Um, it's worked out really good for us. If you're seeing this video and you really liked it, check out the video description for the details and stuff. If you've got a better, system um and you want to share what that is go ahead and leave that in the comments so that you know everybody can see it i've said this multiple times my way isn't the only way but it is a way and it's working for me so um i hope you guys got some value out of this video if you did please make sure you like and subscribe thanks for watching and hope to see you out there